We will now perform an offline password attack using an application called Hashcat. Hashcat is currently the world's fastest password cracking software, which supports different types of hashes as we will see in the demo. Suppose that we were able to compromise my machine. I want to get the hash of the password stored here, which is usually under etc shadow, shadow file. Open this file, you'll be able to see the list of users on this machine and the password after the colon here in a hashed format. So we will take this file, I'll copy this file and we'll name it crack or no hacked hash dot lst. I reopen this file again using leafpad and I will clean it. So remove the user from here and remove the colon and go through the hash until the next colon. Remove the next colon and the rest of the file. So now you have a clean file that only has hashes. Close it here. Now we open hashcat. It's under password offline attacks hashcat. Once you open it, the help menu will pop up. You will be able to see different options that you will use. Mainly, we will use the M option, which specifies the hash type, the A option, which specifies the attack mode, and the O option, which specifies the output. So going down, these are the hash modes. It supports, as I said earlier, lots of hashes, MD4, MD5, SHAs, to make it easier, you can go to this site here, hashcat.net, and you'll be able to see them in a table, in a tabular format. The output formats are hash, plain text, etc. And the attack modes can be straight, which means dictionary attack or a wordless attack, combination attack, brute force, or a hybrid wordless plus mask. And the device type supported can be CPU, GPU, or FPGA. So because this is the fastest application for password attacks, it will not only run on CPUs, it will be optimized to run on GPUs and PGAs, which are application-specific kind of processors. So let's go to the bread and butter here and type the command hashcat minus m m will specify the hash type that we want to crack so actually if you go here again to the leaf pad this is the hash i'm trying to crack okay if i need to know the type of encryption for this hash i need to go to let's leaf pad again etc log in just open this file here and go down, down, down until you see this here encryption method. So the encryption method is SHA512. If you go again to the site here, SHA512 for Unix, the type, the number is 1800. So type M space 1800, then a, which specifies the attack type, I'll go just a dictionary attack type. Then you will specify the output. The output is a cracked, will be put in the cracked.txt file. And then you refer to the location of the hash file, which is hash, which is again crack, hacked hash, hacked hash.lst. And then I'll be using a simple word list here, word list.txt, and then I'll use force, crack.txt signature unmatched, so here I'm missing a parameter which is the output, and then here we go, it will start the cracking process. So here you can press on S to see the status, it will tell you that it is running and this is the target hash that we want to crack the time started 
the estimated time so it will take around three hours to finish we are using this word list so let's wait for the to finish I'll just pause the video now and come back after three hours if you press again on status you will see that the progress is increasing so let's just wait just make sure here that if you use the wrong hash type the application will give you an error and will not be able to start cracking the hash so make sure you do well-based research on the type of the hash that you are cracking one of the applications here that might be beneficial is a hash identifier you open it here and you just paste the hash and it will tell you what kind of hash is that so I come again to check the application status and now it is cracked meaning that the password has been figured out the duration taken is 1 hour 40 minutes I just stopped the previous attack changed the password to a more strong one for that my hash changed but for you just it's the same thing to be able to see the password just go to leafpad the crack txt you'll be able to see that this is the hash that has been cracked to this password so this is my password